Hey you guys, so I'm just coming on here real quick to give a message to someone. I don't know who this message is for, of course, but um, basically I saw this situation where, so I keep seeing something in regards to someone's like home or like their living situation, y'all. So I'm not really sure if you're in a toxic environment because that's what it seemed like. So I don't know if this message has something to do with the one I had posted yesterday and I'm looking like yesterday too, excuse me. But yeah, um, whoever this message is for, basically you could be living with um with some people i don't know how many people but the people that you living with could definitely be toxic it's like they they're trying to like disrupt your peace or it's like always some type of like argument or like disagreement basically but really it's like they're feeding off of that y'all i know it's like very disgusting like um Usually when people do that, it's like they're unhappy. They're not at peace with themselves. And it's like they enjoy seeing people get out of character. Um, basically, this is like some type of attack. Not like a physical attack, y'all. But um, it's like sometimes the enemy will attack you in different ways. But um, usually, you know, people who are close to you, they will be used to attack you. Especially if you're the type of person who... Um, like you usually don't get out of character it's like someone has to actually make you get out of character and you could be the type of person who does not engage in any type of gossip it's like you don't like arguments it's um like you could just be like a very peaceful person basically and mind your business but the people that you live with it's like they feed off of drama and negativity like low vibrational um activities too it's like it's always something going on and sometimes they'll use like in this specific situation like basically they're they're going to use like a conversation but it starts off as like a question and the question could be it's like it's going to be pertaining to someone else but it's like why it's like you're going to be like why are you even asking me this and it's it's really because they have like a hidden motive behind it it's like you know how somebody tries to um it's almost like they premeditated this and they're trying to, um, they're like planning on what they're going to say. That's how sick it is. It's like, I don't know why people do that. But yeah, it's like they're going to ask you some type of question. But the question has no type of substance. It's like, why are you even asking me this? But the question is going to be pertaining to someone else. But really, they just trying to see how you're going to react to it. It's like they want to see um, what you're going to say. Try not to react to it, y'all, because... Um, the way it was shown to me, it's like a similar situation that I was in. And I was like, oh, I know exactly what this is. It's like some type of attack. They're trying to get you out of character. It's like, if you're, if you're the type of person who don't raise your voice, it's like you calm. People like to see someone like get riled up. It's a very disgusting. Like, I don't know why people do that. Um, and sometimes that happens to me, y'all. Because like, I'm like a very calm person. Like, I don't be talking loud. Um, but some people, they enjoy that. It's like, and I feel like it's kind of toxic, honestly. Like some people like people who to, um, to be like aggressive with them, but I'm not an aggressive person. So, um, <laughs> they'll try to like get you to get riled up. It's like, they enjoy seeing that they're feeding off of that energy, which is very disgusting. But I feel like someone could be like living with these people, y'all. But it's when you to not react to it because they're feeding off of that it's like they enjoy seeing you get riled up. And sometimes people will do that. Like they'll plan little tactics to play mind games on you just to see some type of reaction out of you. Cause they they enjoy that, which is very uh it's very disgusting. Like, um what else did I put down? Like basically this person, like these people, because it was actually two people um that I seen. And it's, it's definitely in some type of like living situation. But there's like another person and they're always like instigating it. Like they'll put their little, you know, two cents in. They always, in, in, um, in, basically they're like throwing more fuel to the fire because they enjoy doing it too. So usually when people do that, it's always, it's never by themselves. It's like they need other people or like another person to try to um get you to act out of character it's like they enjoy seeing that and usually it'd be like a it's almost like they're trying to like gang up on you y'all so not really sure if someone's going through that but do not react to it and usually when people do that it's like they're intimidated by you 
um i had kind of talked about that too well i kind of talked about um something similar in that other message i put out when i was talking about the lucky charms when i was talking about the people that that always try to um it's like they always trying to set them up to get his lucky charms it was never one person it's like they always run in some type of pack or like a group so just keep that in mind too because sometimes people do that it's like they need more people because they can't stand up to you like by themselves because they really they're intimidated basically so keep that in mind but do not react to it y'all i know it can be kind of hard it's definitely like a lot of attacks it's like really petty just to throw you off to like lower your vibration or like to make you feel some type of way especially if you a person who um who is like really serious about protecting your energy and you don't engage in like low vibrational things it's like always something to try to pull you backwards or like pull you into that energy because that actually happens to me y'all and it usually happens like really when you're like off guard which is crazy i've noticed that but basically i'm gonna just tell y'all what happened um so basically i had went to the grocery store and i, I planned on going in and out like i literally went in there for like one thing so i walked to the back or whatever um near like the um because I was getting like some shrimp or whatever to make a salad. And I'm minding my business, y'all. And of course, I'm wearing a mask. Like, you cannot see my mouth. Like, you can't see like my whole face or whatever. So this guy, all I hear is like this guy saying, um, smile. And I'm like, is he talking to me? Because I'm the only person over there in the um the department or whatever, the um the, the section. So I look over and he says it again. And I it really took me everything like every fiber in my body <laughs> not to say nothing to him because i'm like what are you talking about like it's like he just tried to assume that i was like upset or angry and that's like really a pet peeve of mine so i was like oh i was like okay and i actually did it so i, was, I looked at him i was like mm, i ain't say nothing and i went on about my day and i was like okay yeah the, en the enemy really tried to use him to um to get to me i was like wow because i'm it's not like i was upset or angry or nothing and i'm like how can you even see my how can you see that i'm not mad or nothing like, i mean how can you see that i'm um not smiling like what in the world but i'm like sometimes people be doing that because they could be like intimidated or they don't know how to say, approach you or whatever i don't know why that always happens to me but like yeah usually that's what it is it's like they don't know how to come at you so of course they're gonna say something real stupid or something out of the way because they don't really know what to say basically so yeah but yeah i don't know whose situation this is just try not to react like before you even try to um to react to it just pause for a minute because usually that's what i do especially if i know if someone's trying to like get to me or whatever I like to make me upset or say something out of the way just pause for a second like try to breathe and just know that they're really trying to get a reaction out of you because if you give them the reaction that they want it's like they're you you're feeding them basically which i mean it could be hard to do it but you just got to catch it like try to practice doing it it, it definitely takes practice y'all because sometimes i it really catch you off guard because you you could be like in a bad mood that day and you just like if anybody says something to me, like I'm going off, but you really got to catch it. It takes practice. Like you, of course, you know, you um could be in a certain situation like that where, you know, somebody does get a response out of you, but just know the next time that they try to do it, just know exactly what the motive is, like what they're trying to do. So yeah, that's pretty much what the message was. I hope that this one helps um somebody, but yeah.